Hi, I'm Skylar Evans, Golden Valley Energy Enthusiast. Do you already use a timer to plug in your car? If so, you're in great shape. But if not, today I'm here to talk to you about timers. Now, most cars only need two hours of plug-in time before they're ready to drive. And there's a better way than waking up at 5.30 every morning. Now, you can pick up timers at most local retailers, but you want to make sure to get one that's rated for outdoor use and has a high enough capacity to handle your car's winterization kit. For instance, this one has a max output of 1,250 watts. Now, you'll need to plug the timer in in order to actually power the clock inside it. On most models, they'll have a clock face that you'll turn in order to reflect the current time, which right now is about 3 in the afternoon. On this model, there are tabs placed around the clock face, each of which represents about a 15 minute period of time for it to be on. Now, say I leave my house at 7.30 in the morning. I want to push in the tabs from 5.30 all the way up until 7.30 which will power the timer during that time. Now, if you want it to work in timer mode, this one has a switch, which you make sure is set to the timer. Otherwise, it's just a power switch, which will deliver power to anything plugged into it 24 seven. I know these little buggers may look a little bit scary, but they're very important for power conservation and can save you money. If you're not comfortable with setting it up at negative 40 weather, take it inside your house and hook it up to a household appliance that's easy to tell if it's off or on. By doing this, you can familiarize yourself with its use and get it set up to properly handle the cold weather. Thanks for listening and have a great day.